In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox Series SRX to the Xbox app on your phone. So go ahead and open up the Xbox app. And the first time you sign into the Xbox app, it's going to ask you to either sign in or set up a new console. Now I'll show you what this looks like. We're going to select the library icon in the bottom right corner by our profile pic, and I'm going to select get started. Now it'll look something like this. And if you're setting up a new console, select the first one and it's going to ask you to enter the code on your TV and it should pop up. Now, if you've already set up your Xbox and you're trying to connect it to the Xbox app, let's go back to library and go to get started. And then we're gonna select add an existing console. Now we're going to be turning on remote features, which is going to enable us to install new games remotely to the console, use Xbox remote play for any device that can use the Xbox app, and turn on and control the console using a remote on the app. So let's go to next and we're going to turn on our console. It's already on and sign in with the account that you typically use. Now you'll see our console says set up remote features. Let's select enable. Then it's going to say you've enabled remote features. So we're going to be able to remote install, manage and control, and we can use remote play assuming we have a good internet. So I'm going to turn on enable instant on as well as we're going to test remote play. Now you'll notice when I enabled instant on, the power option goes to sleep. So in order to get a lot of the benefits from the Xbox app, you are going to have to change the power options to sleep rather than energy saving. And it did that automatically when I changed that. So let's go to test remote play and see if our internet's fast enough. So in the meantime, while that's working, I'm gonna show you what it shows on the phone. And then it's just a matter of selecting the name for your console. I'm just going to go with bedroom Xbox and select next. And you'll see now we have all these different features such as remote play, using the remote control and managing the console and games. So if you ever want to access this again, just go to the library icon in the bottom right corner, and then you can access all these different features. So I'm going to go back to the console now and you'll see it says there was a little bit of interference so I might not have fast enough internet. So now I'm going to go to next and I'm going to close this out. So now we're going to go to the settings cogwheel in the top right corner and from general we're going to select power options and just ensure that sleep is turned on so you're going to get all the benefits of using the remote features on the Xbox app. Hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.